<laughs> honey. Hey, honey. Oh, don't mind the earth around you. I let you down in the grave tonight. You were so sleepy as you arrived at the graveyard. Oh, I'm sorry, I... I couldn't hold myself back, I... Oh, I have to tell you, I guess. I beat you. <laughs> Please don't be mad. I I really tried to hold myself back. I just I just couldn't do it. It was too hard. You smelled too good. And it was very tasty. Oh, I feel alive now. Like so much more energy inside of me. Oh. You're magical, honey. You know that? <laughs> I hope so. You should. Like I said, sorry for the mess and dirt around you. I just had to lay you down somewhere and it was hard to find a place which is just cozy and not that uncomfortable to lay on, you know? So I thought a grave would be a great option. <laughs> um, of course I don't want you to be dead soon or something. Don't get me wrong, please. I actually hope I can spend a lot of more time with ya. <laughs> I was looking forward to that day. To that night. I didn't expect you to come, honestly. Cause I am a little weird. I scare people off mostly, I think. <laughs> I mean, you know what I am, so this is not a surprise. <laughs> you have to stop saying such cute things to me, otherwise it will be so hard for me to hold me back again. <laughs> Sorry for biting you. Um, I hope you feel not that dizzy or something. Are you fine? Do you feel fine? Okay, good. <laughs> Whew, um, yeah, I, I didn't drink that much from your blood. Just enough to be satisfied, you know? <laughs> I didn't want to hurt you. I really appreciate that you understand that. Um... Don't run away now. <laughs> yeah, you will be someone special. I guess it's destiny that we found each other. Seems like you belong to me and I belong to you in a way. <laughs> Who knows? What do you think? Yeah. I think so too, my love. You look great in the moonlight today. Did I tell you that already? I think it since you came here and I saw you again the first time tonight. I think it all the time you look just amazing. Oh. Yeah, very yummy. I... I can do that, don't worry. Oh. You're just so attractive, honey. What should I say? Especially in the moonlight. It's my favorite time of the day. The night. <laughs> we have full moon today. It's beautiful. Don't you think? The silver light on the graveyard. The sky is dark blue. You can see the stars tonight as well. There are not many clouds on the sky. Very romantic. <laughs> yeah. Just like it's supposed to be if we meet. Ah. <laughs> uh. I feel there's something in the air. 
something between us. I can't describe it that well. I'm not the best at finding words for feelings. But maybe you feel it as well. <laughs> exactly. You know what? Do you mind if I would bite you again? Just a little snack. I can't hold myself back. I won't drink that much, I promise you. Don't you think you can trust me? Hmm. I can understand you. I see it in your eyes. <laughs> of course, this is new to you. I bet it is. This is a new kind of intimacy to you, isn't it? Hmm, I can tell. I think I can read you. The way you look at me, the way you're answering my questions. It's very interesting to me, you know. I don't know if you know that as well, but vampires live longer than humans. So I'm on this earth some more years than you might think already. Yeah, I'm not aging that fast. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I know I still look very young. You find it attractive. <laughs> Oh, stop it, baby. Otherwise, I can't hold myself back anymore. Yeah, but like I said, I saw a lot of humans already. I had some nights like this with other people as well. But in all the years I'm on this earth already, no one was like you. You are amazing. <laughs> I just can't put it into words better, I guess. Um, I was never good in such stuff. Uh, I'm very weird to you, right? <laughs> you can be honest to me, I am very honest to you as well. Because I trust you. Do you trust me? <laughs> oh, you can't even tell if you are naive or just lovely or, I don't know, smart. I maybe can't tell either. I mean, I know I don't want to harm you in any way. I would never hurt you on purpose. I told you many times now and I always meant it that way. The thing is still, you can see it like I would be a cat that will always stay a wild animal in a way. Like I would scratch you sometime, even if I love you and stuff. Um, yeah, I have my own will and I have my own nature. This will stay. I never want to hurt you, but what if I can't hold myself back? The thing is, it is possible that you will die if you fall in love with me because of me. Of course I don't want that to happen, but I can't promise you. Because you're like a magnet to me. It takes so much energy away from me to hold myself back. To not just bite you again and again until there's no more blood inside of you because it's it, it, it smells so good. Do you still think you can handle the situation and me as your lover? I really want to be with you. What's your answer? Mm. 
<laughs> I see. Wow, you are special. Well, for now I will just start with a little bite. And we'll see later how much you can really take. <laughs> Thank you, honey. I appreciate your trust. 